And of course, the young guy yes, starting, sir. as you see, playing right cornerback here in press coverage. What Patient. are you doing here? Patient, huh. gets his hands right through down. the pocket. Yep. That's outstanding. <laughs> That's trash. <strange>. Yes. <laughs>Okay, so everybody knows that the Raiders are an absolute dumpster fire right now, and we don't have a quarterback, yes, and we don't have a head coach, yes, and we don't have a good offensive coordinator, yes, all of these things are true, but it's not a complete and utter disaster because there have been some bright spots with the Raiders, and all of us content creators, podcasters, and even national media have been talking about the same individuals that we've all heard, i.e. Max Crosby on the defense, Robert Spillane on the offensive line, JPJ and DJ Glaze have all been bright spots, and then of course, the phenom at the tight end position in Brock Bowers. But there is one guy who was written off last year by pretty much every content creator out there and we're saying and calling for him to just be either cut from the team completely or just left on the bench and the Raiders go out in the free agency and grab his replacement. But this individual came to work in the off season and he has come to work 1000% in the regular season and is having a pro bowl caliber year. And we're going to talk about this individual and why I think the Raiders should be really happy moving forward that we have solidified one of the positions on this team for years to come. All that and more on today's episode of the Raider D Podcast. So before we jump into the video, guys, I just want to say it has been such an honor. We broke over 10,000 subscribers. In fact, we are almost at 10,100 as of the recording of this video. And I want to thank each and everybody who subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and you get some value out of this video or any of my videos, please help the channel to grow and hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything and it goes a long way to encouraging me to keep making these videos just for you. And if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button and drop a comment down below, draft QB, that is the new winning phrase, as you know here on the Raider D Podcast, we like to give stuff away to lucky winners out there. So all you got to do is comment down below, draft QB, that's the new winning phrase, and we will randomly select a winner for a mystery prize. All right, guys, let's just talk about the, the individual that I wanted to, to cover today because he's not getting enough national news. He's not getting enough Raiders content creator coverage. And that is the no-fly zone, J.B. Jacorian Bennett, number zero himself. Last year, he was a rookie out of Maryland, and he impressed immensely at the Combine because he was able to break off a 4-3-1-40. Jacorian Bennett of Maryland. Mm. He's going to be a nickel. Mm. That's rolling. But he's going to make nickels with a 4-3-1. Yeah, Look at that. He's plug and play. This back-to-back -back Maryland corner is showing you some big-time speed. Fast turtles. Which is phenomenal speed. In fact, they knew he was fast, but they didn't know he was that fast. In fact, I think he could probably, given a couple more chances at it, he may have even broken sub 4-3 numbers. He could have maybe even hit 4 to 940. He is literally that fast. And it shows on the field because anytime he is in coverage, he is able to continuously just shadow the receiver, especially on any type of sideline deep route like this one right here, where if you look at it, he literally, the, the receiver had a step for a half a second, and then Jacorian Bennett just turns on those turbos, and he's right there punching his hand in the basket, knocking the ball out of play. And he does this again and again and again. But why was he written off last year, at the end of last year, by a lot of podcasters and content creators and even national media? Well, that's because... Jacorian Bennett did get beat on a few plays and he was out of position on a few plays. And he also got hurt during that season and ended up getting benched by Josh McDaniels. Towards the end of the season, he started to get back into the rotation a little bit, but again, his, his snaps were limited. And so a lot of people were saying that Jacorian Bennett was the weak link. Remember last season, it was all about Jack Jones when he came to the Raiders with his two phenomenal pick sixes. But this season, it's all been about the no-fly zone Jacorian Bennett, and 
that is his new nickname, by the way, the no fly zone, uh, because every time he is targeted, he is right there to punch the ball out of the basket, getting his hands in there and breaking up the pass. Now he's not going to be an interception machine. He's only five foot 11. He's not lengthy and he doesn't have great hands to try and intercept the ball. That's not his game. And that's what we don't need him to do that. What we need him to be is what he is doing right now, which is just be the no fly zone. And he is continuing to excel at that. And I think that for the future, the Raiders have a really, really solid shutdown corner, i.e. This, re- this is reminiscent of a guy named Namdi Asamoah. If you don't know who Namdi Asamoah is, maybe you're too young to remember him. It wasn't even that long ago. But if you don't know who Namdi Asamoah is, go and look him up. He was the Raiders' absolute shutdown corner. He wasn't getting a whole bunch of interceptions, but he also didn't get targeted a lot because quarterbacks would simply avoid him like the plague because, again, he was the original no-fly zone. Every time somebody would try to throw on him, he would be right there to break up the pass or end up with a pick. Now, the difference between Ja'Korian Bennett and Namdi Asamoah. Namdi Asamoah was like 6'2", and Ja'Korian Bennett is 5'11". But... Namdi Asamoah is, uh, uh, Jacorian Bennett is faster than Namdi Asamoah was, and he sticks to his guys even better than Namdi did. Here's another thing that is really good about Jacorian Bennett over Namdi Asamoah, and this isn't to take anything away over Namdi, because Namdi was amazing, but Jacorian Bennett is an amazing tackler. This dude rarely misses a tackle. He will line up. If he sees it's a short pass, a screen pass, anything on his side of the field, a running back, a tight end, a wide receiver, does not matter. Jacorian Bennett beelines this dude and wraps them up. Again, Jacorian's only 5 foot 11, 190 pounds soaking wet, and he is bringing down dudes who are 220 plus pounds with ease. Why? Because he has great tackling technique. He aligns his hips correctly, he beelines on the receiver, and he does not hesitate. He makes the tackle. Unlike other corners on our team and throughout the NFL who may be good at coverage, may be good as ball hawks, but they're not great at beelining and and just straight up tackling a running back or somebody else, a tight end or, or a wide receiver. They might be better at tackling when they're running a route with the receiver and the receiver catches the ball and then they wrap them up. But when they got to line up on somebody coming at them, they're not that great. Jacorian Bennett, it, he tackles like he is literally a linebacker. In fact, he tackles better and has better technique and more success than one of our starting D, uh, uh, linebackers in Divine Diablo. And that's saying a lot because Divine Diablo is bigger and he's a linebacker and he's a starter at a linebacker. He should be a better tackler than our starting corner. But Jacorian Bennett is literally better than him. And so I think that Jacorian Bennett needs to get some love because he has been ignored by the national media. He's even been ignored by a lot of podcasters and content creators. I've been saying it here on the podcast that I think Jacorian Bennett is going to be good in his second year. Sure enough, he was good in his second year. I was saying it throughout all of this season that in fact, while we're giving all of the hype and criticism, rightly so, to Jack Jones, look at what Jacorian Bennett is quietly doing on the other side of the field. He is shutting that down down. And that is absolutely fantastic to see because he was a fourth round draft pick, but he is a starter and a great starter at that. JB, the no fly zone number zero is a hero to the Raiders. And that's something that we can all look forward to. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and don't forget, comment draft QB for your chance to win mystery prizes. We'll be giving away soon.